Tonight, a South Florida man is charged with a cruel crime that was caught on camera. Police say this is video of him actually beating his friend's dog on an elevator. Let's go to local 10's Christina Vasquez right now, live in Brickell to tell us much more about what was behind this heartless act. Christina. And I want to begin with a warning. This video is incredibly hard to watch. When you first see Ajax enter the Brickell apartment building elevator, the little puppy's tail is wagging. The excited six-month-old purebred husky is in the care, please say, of 21-year-old Kareem Alacy, who his attorney says is the dog owner's roommate. But then, after investigators say the little pup urinates on the floor, take a look. With both hands, Alacy is seen hurling the puppy by its leash. Look at the reflection in the elevator door. The pup's body appears to bounce hard against the wall of the elevator and then crash to the ground. Then with his arm high in the air, Alacy appears to wail down on the puppy with an open hand. He then swings him again against an elevator wall before grabbing the puppy's harness to drag it across the floor, followed by a series of slaps, say investigators. <gasps> I know, no. Luisa Torres lives in the Brickell Heights apartment building where police say this happened last Thursday. I don't want to see it because it hurts. At the end, the puppies or the pets are part of our family. He needs to, to be carried with love. Later in the video, a Lacey yanks Ajax so hard, the puppy is swept off its feet. His attorney, Richard Cooper, says his client is young and inexperienced with training puppies, that some people have bad days and do things they later deeply regret. Adding the video is disturbing to my client as it is not who he is. Ajax is safe and has no permanent injuries. My client is being judged for the one moment in his life that he lost his cool and made a very bad choice. And the attorney confirming that his client has since moved out of that building, now facing a third degree felony charge for animal cruelty. His arraignment is set for later this month. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.